Hello student, this is Dr. CJ Tank and today we will discuss about the appearance, identification, thermodynamic cause and emulsifying agent in the chapter name Emulsion. <coughs> so first of all appearance, it is an opaque or milky appearance that is of emulsion. The emulsion it looks like a transparent due to the smaller globule size and also due to the same refractive index of external and internal phase. Milky white emulsion, it has two type of shade, one of that is the grey cast and another one is a bluish. Grey cast, it indicates larger globule size and bluish cast, it indicates smaller globule size. As identification, here we want to check whether whatever the emulsion we have, it is oil in water or water in oil. So for that, some of the identification tests are there. First one that is a disolubility test. Here amaranth and methylene blue. Generally it gives blue color in water because they are water soluble. So if we have oil in water emulsion and we are adding into emulsion amaranth or, and methylene blue then if it gives blue color then we, we can understand that it is oil in water emulsion. Like that Sudan 3 and scarlet red. They are oil soluble that's why it gives red color to water in oil emulsion. If it does not give red color to our emulsion, then we can understand, we can say it is a oil in water emulsion. The next one is a dilution test. Generally in emulsion, we have two phase, dispersed phase and dispersion medium. So in dispersion medium, uh, if, if in emulsion, if we add dispersion medium, then if there is no phase separation, accordingly we can say whether it is a oil in water or water in oil. For example, in oil in water emulsion, if we add water and if it gives no phase separation, then it is confirmatory test that the given emulsion that is oil in water. And likewise, opposite uh, dispersion medium, if we add into the oil in water, for example, instead of uh, water, if we add oil, then it will show phase separation. So on the basis of dilution test, again, we can understand uh, whether uh, our emulsion is oil in water or water in oil. Then conductivity test. Uh, generally, water has ability to conduct the electricity. On the basis of this, we can uh, understand whether our emulsion is oil in water or water in oil. If water as a continuous phase, as a water, uh, water as a continuous phase, generally in oil in water emulsion, water is as continuous phase then this conductivity test gives positive result. If oil is a continuous phase, then it gives negative result. So on the basis of this, we can understand we have oil in water emulsion or water in oil emulsion. The next one is a creaming test. The direction of creaming. Uh, generally, oil have higher density compared to water. So that's why in water in oil emulsion, it gives the downward creaming, whereas in oil in water emulsion, the creaming it will be upward. So on, on the basis of direction of creaming, we can understand whether we have water in oil emulsion or oil in water emulsion. So these are the some of the identification tests for the emulsion. Then thermodynamic cause for instability of emulsion. See emulsion that is thermodynamically unstable. So here we are going to discuss why it is unstable. See in emulsion cohesive force of like molecule is greater than the adhesive force of unlike molecule. In emulsion, there are two phase, oily phase and aqueous phase. So always oil particle, uh, they have tendency to come together. So uh, always there are higher chances of phase separation when two opposite direction phase, it comes together. For example, oil and water. So any system like uh, any emulsion, if we prepare, so always it will try to remain in a stable condition. In stable condition, always it, it have low surface free energy. If we increase the globule size, so uh, if we increase the uh, uh, particle size or globule size, uh, sorry, if we uh, decrease the uh, particle size and in this condition, interfacial uh, area will be higher. That means surface area will be increases. In such a condition, uh, interfacial free energy, it will be raised, but the stability will be decreases. Here one of the equation has been given for the surface free energy. For example, delta G is equals to gamma O by W into delta F. 
delta a that is the uh, surface area inter uh, surface area of globule and uh, gamma o by w that is the interfacial tension between oil and water now here if we take delta a change in the surface area if we want to uh, decrease the surface area if we, we are, if we are decreasing the surface area then surface free energy will be decreases and it will give the stable condition to our emulsion but over here we can uh, we can uh, system cannot changes to original so delta a it cannot be zero surface area we cannot decrease totally so uh, like that the delta a it would never become zero so uh, uh, delta g also it cannot become zero uh, if it becomes zero then there will be the separation of phases and whatever the emulsion we prepared it will come into the unstable condition so for that uh, the regrouping of globule uh, that can be prevented by emulsifying agent here we can add emulsifying agent which which can uh, uh, avoid which can avoid or which can prevent the regrouping and by that we can uh, have the stable emulsion the another thing that is uh, gamma o by w that is the interfacial tension between oil and water we can reduce this interfacial tension but we cannot uh, go up to zero and to decrease the interfacial tension we need to add surface active agent into this see we can uh, see the same thing uh, by figure also we can understand for example we have one of the mixture oil in that oil and water both the things are present this mixture that is in a stable state when we were converting them into the emulsion uh, we are mixing them we are going for a size reduction process then afterwards one phase it will come that is water in oil another oil another one it will uh, oil in water phase but the system it will goes in unstable mode that means surface area that is going to be increases here the globule size surface area it will be large it will be increases and due to that surface free energy that will be also increases but the system comes as a unstable mode now if you want to convert them in a stable state so for that we can add water soluble emulsifying agent or oil soluble emulsifying agent accordingly if we add water soluble emulsifying agent then we can have oil in water emulsion likewise if we add oil soluble emulsifying agent then we can have water in oil emulsion so now again if there is a changes in the uh, stability mode if if uh, this uh, small globules they will come closer and then afterwards they will fuse together and afterwards they will be uh, four globules will be converted into two two globules it will be converted in one if this process will occur again then again it will come to the stable state uh, stable state so vice versa also we can say uh, always the emulsion it want to achieve stable state so that's why we we say is that um, emulsion that is thermodynamically unstable always they have tendency that uh, oil and aqueous phase all, always they want to separate from each other so that's why uh, the phenomena it comes that emulsion that is thermodynamically unstable for that we need to add emulsifying agent so also we should have knowledge about the emulsifying agent it stabilizes the emulsion by preventing collisions of dispersed globules it forms bridge between the polar and non polar phase uh, some of the examples are there span acacia soap twins gelatin these all are emulsifying agent according to bentroth rule if the surfactant is more soluble in water than the aqueous phase it will become continuous phase continuous phase or external phase so it will it will give oil in water emulsion for example some of the example twin acacia bentonite these are more soluble in water so that's why it will give oil in water emulsion spine it has solubility uh, in oil that's why it will give water in oil emulsion some combination also we need to use some uh, oil soluble and water soluble both uh, uh, two type of uh, different emulsifying agent uh, we can uh, make them together one combination and we can use as a emulsifying agent in to make stable emulsion then some auxiliary emulsifying agent they can act as a thickening agent and help to stabilize the emulsion thickening agent that means uh, they will increase the viscosity of uh, emulsion and by that make it in a stable condition the examples are glycerol monosterate stearic acid sodium cmc sodium carboxymethyl cellulose 
then methyl cellulose steroid alcohol these are the example of auxiliary emulsifying agent someone another emulsifier with a high hlb hlb that means hydrophilic lipophilic balance uh, which are preferentially soluble in water and produce oil in water emulsion for example twin 80 which has hlb of 15 sodium oleate which has the hlb of uh, 18 then emulsifier with low hlb value favors the formation of water in oil emulsion for example span which has 4.3 hlb value then glycerol monosterate which has hlb of 3.8 then combination of oil soluble and water soluble uh, for example if we take twin 20 then it has 16.7 hlb value then span 20 it, it has 8.6 so we can take the combination of these two which has the hlb value of 12.65 then ionic type of emulsifying agent sls triethanol ethanolamine steroid they are not recommended for internal use because they can interact with the biomembranes and adversely affect the cell function so that's why we should use uh, we should restrict the ionic type of emulsifying agent if we are preparing the emulsion for internal use then better to avoid emulsifying agent with natural origin some natural origin emulsifying agent are also available in the market so we should avoid such a natural origin because it shows batch to batch variation and also there is a chances of microbial growth in our emulsion so meanwhile the selection of emulsifying agent we need to take care of this thing so this uh, to, uh, this lecture it uh, includes the ap appearance identification then thermodynamic cause for the in, uh, instability unstable uh, of uh, emulsion and about emulsifying agent thank you